Hi, Paul Lacombe with Disruptor here. I'm going to give you a quick demo of the Panasonic AWUE150 PTZ head on top of the Technopoint Totem with our plugin for Unreal. So here I am in the studio, and you'll see in the bottom right is the output of the camera. And I'm on top of a scene that I created in Unreal. I'll show you that scene in a moment. But this is the full composite and I can actually I'll show you the camera direct here. And then here is the quad split. So on the top left is the camera output. On the bottom left is Unreal. Bottom right is just a witness camera looking back at the totem. And the top right is the output of the Ultimat. So let's just do a quick camera move. I'm gonna totem down and tilt up and zoom in at the same time. And you'll see as I kind of go in on my character, I'm going down, not the best of camera moves, but I am trying. And so here I kind of zoom in on my character for a medium shot. You see the background is defocusing. As I go in tighter, it is focused on Mr. Panasonic. You know, pan a little bit over to the right here, frame him up, and the background is getting soft. And so that is uh, not all in right there. That is actually um, I'll show you all in would be somewhere right about in here. So that's full zoomed in and I'll widen out here to a headshot and I'll kind of go up on the totem now and I'll start to pull out. And so now I'm tilting down, pulling out and going up on the totem. And you'll see Unreal is doing the right thing. Everything is calibrated and uh, tracking really well. And We'll go to a full wide. This lens goes to a 75 degree field of view, which is right about there. So I'm full wide here. Oh, almost, almost there, still going. Sorry, I lied. That is coming up on full wide. Holy cow, look how wide that gets. I'm only eight, nine feet away from the talent and uh, I can get more than a head to toe shot. All right, I'm gonna go down again, zoom in a little bit and just tilt them down to eye level and start tilting up. And I'll start up doing a little pan. And you'll see, watch his feet on the floor and how they stay registered to the grid. This is uh, the best way to test your tracking is to put a grid pattern on the floor and move your talent around and see how well they stay registered. And even better is to kind of zoom in same time and go in tight because then you get a really narrow field of view and the narrower you get the more difficult it gets because your angles are very narrow and precise and so any offset and registration is uh, more noticeable so we're in pretty tight here looking right at his feet on the floor you see he's staying right in the same position on the floor as we zoom in and that is key you're not necessarily going to be doing these types of shots, but if you have a practical piece on a desk and you're trying to do an augmented uh, desk or a verse, vice versa, if you actually have a AR piece on a real desk, then you will be going in this tight and you will want your registration to hold up to this kind of scrutiny. So this is without lens distortion. This does not have K1, K2, C1, C2 values on it. And so this is uh, pretty darn good. And that is in large degree to how good this lens is on this camera and the sensor, and then our calibration with the totem and the PTZ. So that's a quick demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.